Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Johnson. I am recording this screencast to show you how to use Little Bird Tales to create an all about me story with your child. These stories will be shared with our class during uh, your child's week as Butterfly of the Week. So, to begin, let's open an internet browser. Little Bird Tales recommends using Safari, Google Chrome, or Firefox. It does not recommend using Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer has a difficult time with Adobe Flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Safari. Once you've pulled up your internet browser, in your address bar, you will type the web address for Little Bird Tales. It is www.littlebirdtales.com. I'm already signed in, so I'm gonna quickly sign out so I can walk you through this process. Once you type in littlebirdtales.com, this will pull up the home page for this website. You'll have a username spot, a password spot, and a school code spot to enter information. Usernames are all set up the same way for the students. It is their first initial and then their last name, all in lowercase. So I'm going to use myself as an example, and it would be A. Johnson. And then, so my first initial, which is A, and my last name, which is Johnson. And then the password is the same for all of the students. It is simple. It is the numbers one, two, three. The school code is also the same for the students. It's the St. Mark's school code. So it is using all capitals this time, S-T-M-E. Once you have entered your username, which is your child's first initial and last name, the password, which is 123, and the school code, which is all caps STME, you will click the blue go button. This will bring you to your student's personalized homepage. Over here on the left, you'll notice some links. The one here called My Tales is where your, the story that's all about me uh, that your child creates will be stored. Here on Shared Tales is where your student will be able to see the bird tales that are created by his or her classmates. My Galleries is where Little Bird Tales stores any art your student makes. Finally, we have My Assignments. This is where you will go to pull up the template that you will use to create uh, your child's My Little Bird Tales All About Me story, or that your child will use to create their story. So please click My Assignments. Here we go, you'll come over here, you'll see your assignment, and you'll want to click on the blue letters that say all about me. So, let's click on that now. Once you've pulled it up, you'll see these green pictures with a lock in them. All of these are unlocked currently, and they will be unlocked on every page in your child's assignment. They're unlocked so that your child can create his or her own art, change the text, and record his or her voice. So how do we create artwork or illustrations for our book? Simple, we have three options. Draw, which is an art pad. Galleries, which is saved illustrations your child has made. So at this point, your child won't have anything saved in their galleries. Or upload. This is how you will upload a photo from your computer into the Little Bird Tales story. So I'm going to click draw. And we're going to clear this so we can walk through it together. Clear erases the entire thing you've already done. So I'm going to illustrate my cover page. I'm going to use my toolbar over here with a brush, an eraser, a line, a square tool, a circle tool, a fill option, a text option, an undo option, and a redo option. This is where you'll find options for changing your brush shape, round, square, vertical, horizontal. 
you may alter the width of your brush and you may alter how dark or how light the paint shows up and you can make the paint marks look more like spray paint or more like paint from a can and a brush. So I'm going to make my background blue. And click the fill button. Notice it goes back to black so you have to click the fill button first then choose the color you want then you just click on your blank canvas. So now I have a blue canvas. Now I'm going to write on it. Uh, you don't even have to write anything on it since your children may be learning to write. They may want to write their first names. That might be fun. So I would select my brush and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make the brush be purple. Right, Allie. Since that's my first name. And I might want to draw some hearts on here. So I'll come over here and pick another color for my hearts. Draw some hearts. Beautiful, right? And once you're done, if you like what you've done, you're going to click the Save button. And I'm going to do this several times so that you can see uh, how you know that your picture is being saved. So you click save and over here on the bottom right it's got an orange loading bar. Once that orange loading bar disappears you know your art has been saved and you may come up to the top right corner and click the X. That'll bring you back to the page where you were originally and you can change the text. You can change the title to be just your child's name. It could stay all about me. Your child could make something completely different up. Down here, for tail by, that's where your little author and illustrator will enter his or her name. You, you type in his or her name. And the other thing that I want you to do with your child is to have them record their voice on every page. This is really important so that it really gives them a sense of ownership of their tail. To make sure that your microphone is working, you're going to come here to settings. Notice it's linked. Click on settings. It'll bring up privacy information. And it's asking if they can access your camera and microphone. Little Bird Tales doesn't actually use the camera for what we're doing, so you only have to worry about it accessing your microphone. You will click allow and then click remember. By clicking remember, that helps Little Bird Tales know that they can use the microphone on every page going on from here on out on this story, which is what we want. So now you don't have to mess with this ever again. So you'll hit close and record their voice telling us the title and who the author and illustrator is and then you'll want to hit save and continue. Once you're done with each page, you'll want to make sure you hit the green save button. This will bring us to the inside of our story. Here you'll notice there's a teacher instruction box. This will be on every page from here until the end of the story. It's a short story. It's only seven pages inside answering questions. So we will walk through this together. Uh, the instructions in the box say each instruction box will provide you with a question or questions to answer for that particular page. Please do the following to answer the question or questions. The student will upload a photo, draw a photo, or upload a photo and then draw on top of it. The student will enter text that describes the illustration and answers the question. The student will record his or her voice answering the question for each page. The verbal recording does not need to be an exact match to what has been typed into the text box down here. It can be the student's interpretation of the text and the illustration. So for this page, the first questions are, when is your birthday? How old will you be? And what do you want for your birthday? So here I decided to take the opportunity to show you what it would look like if you were uploading a photo. So to upload a photo to your artwork, you click Upload. This will bring up a dialog box. 
where you can select pictures or go down to media and select photos, which will pull up your iPhoto library. It might be simpler for an assignment like this to talk about it with your child first and then save any pictures they would want to save to the desktop so that you just have to go to one place and you don't have to scroll through a bunch of different photos like you would have to do in iPhoto. So let's say my birthday was in the spring, which is actually when it is. So I'm going to pick this spring photo, say choose, and you'll notice it's loading. And then maybe I would want to write the date of my birthday on here. So I'll click on it and I'll select my brush tool. I'm going to make it a little thicker and I'm going to select maybe this pink and I'll write March because that's when my birthday is and if I like it then I'll leave it like this if I don't like it I can hit the clear option and it'll erase everything but I like what I've done so I'm gonna hit the save button and notice the orange loading bar that's how you know it's saved once you're done you can hit the X in the upper right hand corner and you'll come back to the instruction page down here in the text box, you might want to type something like, my birthday is March 25th. I will be 29 years old. And I don't know what I want for my birthday, so I'll just say, I would like coffee for my birthday. Then once I've entered the text, I would come up here and click the record button and record myself either saying exactly what I typed or, you know, giving my own interpretation of what it is. Once I'm done, I want to make sure that I click the green save button. So once you click the green save button, you'll notice that your page shows up here in the page toolbar. You'll also notice that this page that it brings up automatically does not have teacher instructions. That might happen when you click the save button, but it's okay because you'll just come over here to your page bar and select the next empty page. Then you get your questions back. So for the second page, the questions are, how many people are in your family? What are their names? You'll want to make sure you upload or draw a photo to illustrate this enter text, and record your voice. Don't forget to click the green save button when you're done. Page three, questions. Do you have any pets? If so, what are their names? If not, what kind of pet would you like to have? Don't forget to include an illustration, text, and a voice recording. Then click the save button, which will be green. Page four, what is your favorite thing about school? Include an illustration, text, and a recording, and then click the save button, which will be green. Page five, what is your favorite thing to do when you are not at school? Include an illustration, written text, and a voice recording, then click the save button, which will be green. Page six, what is the best thing about you? Or what is your favorite thing about you? Upload a photo, illustrate it, or, or illustrate it, then include text, record your voice, and hit the save button, which will be green. That's our last question. And we're on to the final page of our book, page seven. Page seven is the last page. Here I would like for your child to create an ending to their story. This can be as simple as saying, typing, and illustrating the phrase, the end. We do have a lot of creative students, so if they feel like writing something completely different and illustrating something completely different for their last page, go for it. This is all about them and all about expressing their freedom and their creative talents. 
Once you are completely done, you'll hit the Save and Continue button, which unfortunately you can't see right now, but there would be a Save and Continue, and it'll store this tail in the My Assignments and My Tails section. So to show you what it would look like once it's finished, I'm going to sign out of my pretend student account, sign into my account, where you can see my All About Me story. So here you can see the option for an embed code. You'll want to click on this embed code once you've finished creating the All About Me story with your child. And you may select this link to the tail. You'll want to copy it and then email it to both Mrs. Jackson and Ms. Johnson. The, even if you forget to email it for some reason, it's okay because since your child is accessing Little Bird Tales through a student page or a class page, all of their stories will be visible to the teachers. Each child's story will also be accessible to his or her classmates. That means they can view it from home or from school once they've entered their username and password. However, these tales are private to everyone outside of the classroom. So while your classmates can see it, you don't have to worry about anybody else in the world seeing what we've created here on Little Bird Tales. So I'm going to sign out now and just review with you that you should use this screencast to go, uh, learn how to familiarize yourself with Little Bird Tales. Uh, you can go backwards, rewind, fast forward through any part that's useful or not useful or that you might need to see again. The teacher instructions will be on your child's assignment page on each page. When you get ready to view that tail, the, the instructions will disappear. It's like magic. And make sure you send the embedded code to Mrs. Jackson and Ms. Johnson. But if you forget, it's okay. We can still see the tail. And just make sure you have so much fun doing this with your child. We want it to be a bonding experience and a new way to explore technology in our classroom. Thank you for watching this, and I hope you have a great time. Please email or come in if you have any questions. Talk to you later.